Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so I wanted to talk about a subject. This is a subject I feel like I'm pretty qualified to talk about. I want to talk about the top six fish that that you should probably never try to eat. Like, this is just from experience since I spent all last summer chasing, catching, and cooking just about every nasty critter on the Gulf Coast just to see if you could do it. I wanna save you some time and just tell you which ones were terrible and which ones you actually wanna try. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the top six fish don't try to eat. Here we go. Okay, so, real talk. I have literally tried to cook every fish out there on the Gulf Coast. We're talking predominantly on the Gulf Coast like the Gulf of Mexico around Florida, all the way to Texas, because I really can't cover all the saltwater fish. That, that's, there's just too many of them out there. But what I can talk about is what we got right here. So we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. So, so number six on my list is the pinfish, okay? Can you eat it? Yeah. Is it great to eat? Not really. They're kind of like in the perch family, I believe, and they taste kind of like a brim or a sunfish, like in freshwater. They just don't really have a lot of taste. I've seen a lot of people fry them. They're not, I mean, they're edible and you can eat them, but I'm just trying to save your time on, maybe you don't want to try these guys. Just skip to the white trout or something that's just as easy to catch and uh, just use the pinfish for bait. You can literally catch these things anywhere on pylons. I mean, you can just lemon out with them in like 10 seconds, but they're just not really that great to eat. And it's raining on me. Look, the sun's out and it's raining on me. Look at this. Florida weather for you right there. So the next fish you should probably think about not trying to eat is the Jack Herval. I know a lot of guys eat these things out in Hawaii and you know they're pretty big and there's a lot on them but you know really they're just kind of shark bait. Like I've tried to eat the small ones, uh, the, the, sm the, the smaller Jack Hervals you catch like in Bayou Chico and they're just not really that great to eat. There's better things out there to eat. I would literally just leave these to shark bait. Here's some footage where we caught them last year and tried to eat them. Knife real quick like this, and uh, I mean, super simple. They don't have big scales, but. All right, dudes, that grease is popping. We're about to put them on right here. What y'all think about that? Let's look at Excelente. Woo! We've got, our, we've got two Jack Herbals right here. Check them out. So I've got some experience with the little Jack Hervals and I, I just don't really think they're great to eat. I would rather a sail cat over it. Just didn't taste good. We tried it and uh, I wasn't really impressed. So the number three fish on my list to not eat is the hardhead catfish because he's really just not very tasty. One, they're dangerous to hold. Samantha's interrupted my film. Pick some herbs she had to get herbs for her soup. Chicken noodle soup, that's what she's cooking right now. Y'all should taste it, it's pretty doggone good. These hard headed catfish are pretty dangerous to, to handle and I got a scar right here where I had to go to the emergency room for them because it's two o'clock in the morning, I was underneath Three Mile Bridge, prong went all the way through my hand and my hand swelled up about that big. They've got this like nasty inflammatory venom or whatever it's nasty. I don't really know how to explain it, but it'll make you hurt. It's the worst pain ever. So like meat quality, meh. Tastes kind of like meh. It's really nothing but just, I mean, you can't eat them and they will keep you alive, but that's about it. So the next fish you probably shouldn't try to eat is the puffer fish or the blowfish. I'm just gonna lump those two together because they're dangerous. If you don't know how to prepare them, I'm pretty sure they're poisonous. Comment down below if you know more about the puffer fish or the blowfish. But you can catch them around pylons around here. You can catch them offshore sometimes. And they're, they're tasting wise, I, I will say this, I haven't eaten them. But since they're dangerous to try to eat, I'm just gonna say don't try to eat them. So it's gonna make the one of the top spots on this video. Just don't try to eat them. Okay, so the number two fish on this list is the remora. I don't know if you guys ever tried a remora or you've ever seen one, but they're the nastiest little critters on the planet. They literally have a suction cup on the top of their head. They'll literally just stick to you if you just stick them up beside you. They, they, they tag along sharks under the bottom and they eat whatever just falls off of them. They look like a parasite. I'm telling you, it looks like a parasite with a tail. It's just nasty. Even they, they usually have parasites on them. Brant Peacher, uh, angler up on YouTube, caught one last year and cooked it. I didn't even want to try it because they're just that much of a nasty critter. So if you catch one, they're easy to catch. They're all over the place offshore, especially around wrecks or if you're chumming. They look like a black parasite running through the water. The parasites? Ugh. 
don't try to eat it. I'm gonna save you some time on that one. They're nasty. And this brings me to the number one fish that I think is terrible and don't even try to eat. And that's the ladyfish or the skipjack. That fish I tried to eat last year on one of our Catch and Cook ep episodes. It was the nastiest smelling thing I've ever smelt to try to cook. It was like this. I don't even want to think about it. Jack's going to throw up. Jack's going to throw up. Hold on. It was kind of a putty, like putty, like meat consistency. I've heard some people make dip out of it. I don't even know why you'd want to try. Like there's so many other fish out there to try to do this to, but not ladyfish. I've heard ladyfish like cakes, croquette, bleh. I mean, they're fun to catch. They're everywhere. They're one of the most fun fish out there to catch on light tackle but I'm not putting them on the dinner table. I literally almost threw up last year trying to, trying to eat one. It just was not a fun time. All right guys, so that is the like top six fish. I think that was six that you shouldn't try to eat. I'm just trying to save y'all some time. So this is a two part series and I'm gonna do the top five fish or six fish to eat right after this video. I tried every one of them last year. I even cooked bait fish. I cooked cigar minnows. Uh, pinfish, northern speedos, LYs, greenbacks, sardines, all of them. And these are the top like six fish, just don't even try. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment down below on if you've tried these and what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Oh! <laughs> Time ball game, baby. Woo! Look at that. Look at, look at, the, look at those little stripes those waves on his back <laughs> hey, so is brant behind now yes. Woo, branson he's behind now i told you it's gonna be the greatest comeback in history